I am so glad that you are here in music class. By the time you watch this video, it will have been weeks and weeks since our track out, but I hope that during track out you had some really fun experiences. Maybe you went to the beach, maybe you went to see family, maybe you went to the mountains, maybe you got to play video games, maybe you got to read some really cool books, maybe you got some time with friends, who knows, but I hope you had a great track out. You're probably wondering, who is that crazy lady? I haven't seen her in a very long time. Well, for those of you who don't remember, my name is Mrs. Varnum, and I'm the music teacher here at Eastwick Academy, and I am so glad that you get to be part of music class today and that I get to spend a little bit of time with you. We have some really cool things planned. The very first thing that we're going to do today is introduce a new song, and it's called I'm so glad to be here. You might have heard this song before, but if you haven't, it's really fun and you get to do some neat motions. Now, there's a few things it's going to tell us to do in the song, so we want to listen really carefully to the instructions so that we make sure we're doing exactly the right thing at the right time. So let's stand up and sing, I'm so glad to be here. Here we go. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so, 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 so glad. I'll show you how I feel. I'll jump up high, slap my thigh, touch my nose, wink my eye, stomp my some great singing. We will be doing that song a lot more over the next few classes together. It's one of my favorites and I've been so excited to teach it to you. You know, I found this really cool book in my daughter's room and I thought I would share it with you today. Do you want to hear it? Let's check it out together. It's called The Wheels on the Bus and it's by Wendy Straw. You can see that bus is full of people and it's in a lot of traffic. Do you see all the cars on either side of it? It must be a busy place. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Look, there's even a dog on the bus, and there's a dog that missed the bus. Do you see it? He's saying, why can't I be on the bus? The driver on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. He's beeping the horn. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. The driver on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. That's his job, he drives the bus. So he gets people to where they're going. If you were gonna take a bus, where would you wanna go? Those are some neat places. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all day long. So that means the people are getting on the bus and then there's people getting off the bus, people getting on the bus. You don't stay on the bus all day. You just use the bus to get to where you're going. See it? Look, that silly man lost his hat. Do you see it? 
the wipers, the windshield wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. So when it's raining, we turn on the windshield wipers, right? And it wipes the rain off of our windshield so we can see to drive. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round until the day is gone. That bus driver drove all day until it was nighttime. So I found this book and I thought, you know what? This book reminds me of a song. Hmm. Can you help me think of a song that you know that says something about the wheels on the bus? Does anybody know? It made me think of the song, The Wheels on the Bus. So we're going to take part of this book and we're going to sing The Wheels on the Bus. But instead of saying all day long, because Ms. Varnum learned it a different way, we're going to do it the way Ms. Varnum learned it, because otherwise I'll just mess it up. And it goes like this. You can do the motions with me. Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town. The driver on the bus says move on back, move on back move on back. The driver on the bus says move on back all through the town. The babies on the bus go way, 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 way. The babies on the bus go way, way, way all through the town. The mommies on the bus say shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 shh all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. I hope you enjoyed singing that song. It is such a fun song, and I love it when we can sing and do motions. I think that's super fun. I wanted to talk to you today about special voices that you have inside of you. Did you know you have different kinds of voices inside you? You do. I'll show you. Inside of you, you have a whisper voice. A whisper voice. Say, this is my whisper voice. Great job. Did you know you also have a talking voice or a speaking voice? It's the voice that we use a lot of time in the classroom, right? Say, this is my speaking voice. You try it. Great job. Did you know you also have a shouting voice or a yelling voice? Now, most of the time we use this outside, but just for today, if it's okay with your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa, or your aunt or your uncle or your cousin or your brother or your sister, whoever's helping you with Zoom today, if it's okay with them, we're going to use our shouting voice really quickly. Are you ready? Say, this is my shouting voice. You try it. Excellent. That's some great shouting. Now remember, we don't want to use our shouting voice in the classroom, but just for today's fun activity, we'll use our shouting voice, even if we're inside. We also have a singing voice. Can you sing with me? <clears throat> this is my singing voice. You try it. This is my singing voice. And you probably notice our singing voice is not the same as our whisper voice or our speaking voice or our shouting voice. Each of our voices have different places that we use them in. So when we're in the music classroom, a lot of times we'll be using our singing voice. So let's try that one one more time. This is my singing voice. 
great job. So I'm going to ask your teachers to pause the video and give you a chance to show your teachers and your friends in your class that you can demonstrate a whisper voice or a speaking voice or a shouting voice if your mom or your dad or whoever you're with says it's okay or a singing voice okay so your teachers are going to pause the video and let you take turns either whispering speaking shouting or singing okay and we'll come back together when you finish your activity go ahead you're back did you have lots of fun whispering and speaking and shouting and singing? I sure hope so. We're going to finish today's lesson by talking about something really cool. Did you know that there's music all around us in our world? Normally, we call outside nature sounds environmental sounds, okay? So I have found some really neat examples of environmental sounds. So I want you to put on your listening ears, and I want you to listen closely to some of the sounds that we hear out in nature. Some of them sound kind of like music. Let's listen together. Can you hear the birds chirping? And the water in the creek? Can you hear the sound of the wind blowing through the trees? You might hear some different types of bugs if you listen really closely. So the next time you go outside, I want you to think about environmental sounds and how we can hear music in the world all around us. When I think about the birds singing and the water in the creek and the wind blowing through the trees, it kind of reminds me of fall. I love fall because the leaves are changing colors and it's getting a little bit cooler outside. You get to wear scarves, that's super fun. And so I want you to listen to a little clip of this music called Flowers in October. Sometimes music can make us feel really calm. This music kind of wants makes me want to take a nap, but you don't have to take a nap right now. sit and listen to that all day. But unfortunately, our time together is almost up. I can't believe it. We have some really cool things coming up in music class over the next couple of weeks, and I can't wait to do them, do them with you. We have some more really fun books to read. We are going to um, review our I'm So Glad to Be Here song, and we're even going to make our own scarf. You've probably used scarves with Miss McGlamory in movement class, and so we are going to make our own scarf out of an object that you might find at your house, and 
and we are going to enjoy dancing around with our scarf that we have found from home. Until I see you again next time, boys and girls, I hope that you have a wonderful next couple of days. Bye, friends!